the city of Seoul. On October 20th, 2007, a historical event took place that ignited the possibility of Seoul to become a leading global design city. In 2010, Seoul was designated the first world design capital. Design around the world. 50 years of ICSID. The WDC title is bestowed upon a city that aims to achieve social, economic, and cultural growth through design. The title is granted by the International Council of Societies of Industrial Design, which has over 150 group members from 53 countries. Countless cities across the world are already striving to boost the city's charms and brand power through design. And amid this fierce competition, Seoul was selected as the first WDC in 2010. ICSID IDA의 이 평가 기준이 현재 있지 아니하고 플랜을 보는 것입니다. 미래 비전을 보는 것이에요. This does not imply that Seoul is the finest city of design. However, Seoul earned the honor through its impressive design leadership and a people-friendly design vision. Now, Seoul is dreaming of embarking on a new adventure through design. Its design for all is about to begin. In the past 50 years, Seoul has achieved rapid changes and progress. All eyes have been on Seoul and its miraculous growth rate. However, this sudden growth was not without its side effects. Seoul was losing its originality. Because it was under so much pressure for progress, Seoul became a bland, dry city, cut off from culture and art. It was so focused on development that it neglected the very owners of the city, the citizens. Then, how was Seoul honored with the first WDC title? Behind the victory lay the determination of the city of Seoul to shape the city into a global design hub. Long before being selected as a WDC, Seoul understood the importance and potential of design. The city was determined to improve the quality of life for Seoulites and to reaffirm the city's unique identity and historical significance through design. Instead of continuing on the route of a hard city driven by function and efficiency, Seoul decided to transform into a soft city where people and culture stand at the core. <laughs> Urban development and design meshed. And that is how Design Seoul began. At the heart of Design Seoul 
are people. Behind the fundamental idea of new design was the question of how to be more people-friendly. The times when people could only view and admire the Han River and N Tower became a thing of the past. Also, in order to form a consistent urban setting, Seoul devised a design guideline. From taxis, street stalls, to benches on the streets, it is crucial to apply consistency to the designs of the components that make up the city. In order to create a harmonious urban landscape, Seoul created design blueprints for public facilities and has been distributing a design manual since March 2008. The automobile first city began to change little by little into an orderly people-oriented city. Designing a city does not stop at merely pursuing visual beauty. All global destinations have their own unique cultural identity. This includes the city's iconic symbol, which has a particularly important role in raising the city's brand value. That is why Seoul designated a new icon for the city. Hechi is an imaginary animal that has shared the history of Korea. It is believed that Hechi has the ability to fight fires and misfortunes, and it became the new iconic symbol that represents the history and culture of Seoul. Also, Seoul has been trying to establish its own colors and fonts. These reflect the city's innate image. The whole world is now a modern economic society. How do you think about the design of your software? Our Seoul has been a history of 600 years. 역사가 있고 문화가 그 노, 녹아 있는 어, 도시인데 그거를 하나하나 이렇게 발굴해 나가는 기회가 어, 그 인식이 크게 이제 고취됐다고 생각합니다. To establish itself as a cultural city, Seoul started a project called City Gallery which narrows the gap between soul lights and art. Design has the power to change a city for the better. Not only can it improve people's lives, but it can also become the driving force behind a city's economic and cultural development. There are no doubts that design will become one of the most important new growth engines of Seoul. In order to develop the design industry systematically, Seoul selected Mapo, Tongdaemun, Gangnam, and Kuro as design clusters, and increased investments and support for design industries in these areas. Under the Design Cluster Program, Seoul is supporting professional design companies as well as new designers. This in return is building industrial design networks between different districts and is triggering economic growth. Among the clusters, 
The centerpiece is the Dongdaemun Design Plaza, constructed over the former Dongdaemun Stadium. Through an open contest, award-winning architect Zaha Hadid's metonymic landscape was selected. The new structure will become the mecca of design industries of Korea and the world. Through the Dongdaemun Design Plaza project, Seoul will come to possess radical design competitiveness and a program that can nurture design industries systematically. Thus, it will become the new design hub in the world. And then uh, uh Seoul is growing anew through innovative designs. It is steadily changing into an attractive city through its ceaseless research and improvements. World Design Capital Seoul 2010 is the result of the city's tireless efforts. Being designated as WDC 2010 motivated Seoul to advance a step further in its design initiatives. On March 17, 2008, The Seoul Metropolitan Government signed a Memorandum of Agreement with the ICSID. And on January 1, 2010, Seoul welcomed its first year as the World Design Capital. Design for the People WDC Seoul 2010 proposed a vision for a Seoul where its people can enjoy happiness and communicate with each other on equal ground. With 460,000 citizens sharing the celebration, WDC Seoul 2010 was initiated. It created a global destination where different cities could communicate with one another using design as a tool. The World Design Studies Summit. <laughs> President of X At the first official event, the WDC World Design Cities Summit, 32 cities from 18 countries took part and discussed how cities could be improved through design. People like to call me the design mayor. Mm. <laughs> In the 21st century, design is the major driving force behind urban development. However, the city's competitiveness and its economic growth are not the sole reasons why so many cities are focused on design. The ultimate motivation behind design is to improve the quality of life of the citizens and to create a more harmonious world. For this purpose, the WDC World Design City Summit took place under the theme of Design and Cities, designing a competitive city for the 21st century. It shared the successful design policies and industries of different cities, proposing a future direction for global cities. Uh, after becoming a world design capital, various design projects by Seoul were acknowledged for their success. 
the prestigious title as a design city is bound to become an important asset in uplifting the brand value of Seoul. At the WDC World Design City Summit, it became a common understanding that design is essential for urban development and competitiveness. Footprints to Helsinki, which to follow. And interactive design as well. Designing a city also means designing the lives of the people in that area. Because the participating mayors agreed that consistent cooperation and sharing of information between cities is necessary. They agreed to hold the WDC World Design City Summit every two years. A city where all citizens can be happy and enriched through design. That is the dream of all cities of design in the world. Creo que el, la evidencia del desarrollo que ha tenido Corea en los últimos años, el crecimiento económico muy fuerte que tiene Corea en todos estos años, tiene que ver con la innovación y tiene que ver también con el diseño. Entonces es otra oportunidad para que puedan mostrar lo que están haciendo y por qué no aprender también de lo que hacen en el resto del mundo. En nuestro caso estamos trabajando muy fuerte para que en Argentina justamente los desafíos que tienen que ver con la competitividad pasen también por el diseño. O sea que... Upon being selected as the World Design Capital 2010, the city of Seoul has been working hard to build a global network of designers around the world. About 100 design majors and professional designers from 18 countries gathered for the Seoul International Design Workshop. The workshop was hosted under the name of UNIT, with the idea of sharing opinions on Seoul-style universal design that can be enjoyed regardless of gender, age, ethnicity, and disability. The purpose of the workshop was for people from various backgrounds to exchange their opinions on design thereby honing their own skills and insights. Um, I came here because I think uh, international experiences are always very interesting and the, um, I believe the viewpoints I can gather around Korea and Seoul would be very valuable to my, to my knowledge and I can use that uh, when in my work. 디자인이라는 게 아무리 국제적인 것이라 해도 각 나라의 그 정체성이나 이렇게 문화 같은 게 있잖아요. 그런 이렇게 느낌이 배어 있는 서로 디자인을 공유할 수 있으니까 네, 그런 것도 되게 많이 기대가 돼요. 그 워크숍 was divided into five specific target groups: women, seniors, children, people with disabilities, and foreigners. Participants volunteered for the target group of their choice and listened to what they had to say. <laughs> My name is the participants put their heads together to create designs that are available and satisfactory for everyone. Um, I have two impressions, one very positive, I think uh, workshops of this kind are really important to build uh, new networks between young designers, uh, particularly across the world, not just in, in, in certain regions. So I think that this workshop has definitely fulfilled that, um, that uh, possibility of really bringing together young designers who would never otherwise have had the chance to meet and that will be the basis for further working partnerships between countries. So that's the very, very positive thing um, of the workshop. And this is like a third 
After various workshop programs, participants came up with innovative ideas to improve various aspects of people's inconveniences, surpassing nationality and ethnicity. The participants worked as a team to create a new universal design for Seoul. The workshop served as a platform for the participants to mature as designers through various cultural experiences and information exchange. The potential of Seoul is being rewritten through the WDC projects. Seoul was already a city built on innovative designs 600 years ago. In 1394, King Tejo, the founder of the Joseon dynasty, declared Seoul as the new capital city. Ever since then, Seoul has been growing as a people-oriented city of culture and art for over 600 years. For hundreds of years, Seoul has been nurturing its innate design DNA. The 2010 Seoul Design Assets Exhibition was held with the purpose of refocusing valuable design assets that have been neglected. The 51 assets that were selected served to introduce Seoul's unique design identity and superiority to the world, while reminding Koreans of the great designs of the country. Design assets were exhibited in many spectacular ways, such as multimedia images and through cutting-edge IT. King Sejong's Hunmin Chung Um was reborn as interactive media art. By combining design assets with cutting-edge IT, Korea's traditional design was brought back to life with a modern touch such as the digital folding screens of Hanyang folk painting. Seoul's design assets are not artifacts of the past. They are the motive and the potential of future development. The Seoul Design Assets exhibition that refocused on the roots of Korea's traditional designs provided a clear answer as to why Seoul was designated as the world design capital. The 2010 Children's Design Camp is an event that provides children with the opportunity to be creative while experiencing different designs. Under the theme of the present and the future of WDC Seoul, children had the chance to express their ideas as they designed sneakers, hats, and eco bags. The competitiveness of design stems from the ability to think creatively Therefore, it is important that children learn about the concepts of designing through games and playing, rather than through studying. After the event, the sneakers and hats were sent to the children in Uganda suffering from skin diseases because of lack of shoes. The 2010 Children's Design Camp was an educational ground where children could practice sharing through design. It 
자기들이 모자랑 가방 뭐 이런 디자인을 안 해보잖아요. 그러니까 여기서 자기가 직접 디자인을 한다는 게참 좋았던 것 좋았던 것 같아요. 남을 돕기 위해서 하는 행사에 그 참여할 수 있었던 게 가장 좋은 그 기회인 것 같고요. 그리고 또 우리 애들이 뭐 이런 행사에 같이 동참해 갖고 앞으로도 뭐 밖에서도 아니면 일상생활에서도 좀더 남을 도울 수 있는 기회가 됐으면 하는 바람입니다. In order to develop design as a sustainable force, a city must encourage its citizens to participate in its progress. The Total Design Festival for the Globe, Seoul Design Fair, garnered the most enthusiastic response from Korean citizens. Hosted in celebration of Seoul's designation as the first WDC, Seoul Design Fair saw its third anniversary as a global festival of design and culture. Organized into three themes, design economy, design participation, and design on education. Seoul Design Fair set up various programs that deepened the understanding of design and broadened the field, all with the aim of developing the design industry. The design economy captured people's attentions with exhibitions like the World Design Industry Exhibition, the Seoul Brand Design Exhibition, and the Korea-China-Japan Exhibition. But the most popular exhibition of all was the Seoul Design Market, where designers and consumers were able to share their opinions. Seoul Design Market was a global event aimed to become a specialized design marketplace that promotes international exchange between designers. It also supported the sales of the exhibited products by giving the participating designers the opportunity to promote their work to around 50 CEOs and product developers at the designer's talk session. More than it seems is a multifunctional product which I designed for myself. It can be used as a backpack when going to study. From the back and put it on the front. It works as a side sling bag. Seoul Design Market will continue to uplift the competitive spirit of the design industry by opening new doors to future business transactions. Taejung이 많이 체험할 수 있었다는 건 굉장히 큰 성과고 또그 그런 내용들이 파급적으로 어떤 거는 제품화로 이어지고 산업화로 이어지고 뭐 수출 홍보. 굉장한 기회가 있었습니다. 그리고 이런 행사를 통해서 얻어지는 부수적인 효과는 차세대, 신세대 디자이너들의 또 새로운 디자인을 어, 런칭하고 보여주는 중소기업들한테 또 굉장히 큰 메리시 있다고 봅니다. Meanwhile, the design participation section organized various competitions for citizens. Among them, an open contest under the theme of designing WDC Seoul with my hands was met with an eager response. A total of 1,146 artworks were registered. And through a fair evaluation, 67 were selected and exhibited during the event. The international competition was also a success. Seoul International Design Competition worked under the theme of Design for All and attracted 5,175 teams from 103 different countries. There are too many um, different categories. It's good for designers, it's good for all designers that works in a different ways, different categories. And I think it is helpful, uh, especially for younger designers and the students especially. 
The Design on Education section prepared a place where children could design their own future. The Sang Sang Children's Park, where kids could have fun while designing things on their own, opened the door for the younger generation to learn design concepts while having a great time. Ever since its first opening in 2008, the Seoul Design Fair has welcomed 470 companies from 109 different countries and 585 million participants, generating approximately 1.026 billion U.S. dollars worth of production inducement. The fair is a platform where designers and citizens can communicate and understand one another. It will uplift the competitiveness of design and serve as a motivating force for the future of the city. Upon successfully completing the global design fair, Seoul proved to be a cultural city in its maturity. Design makes the city grow anew. In 2008, Torino of Italy was appointed as the pilot city for the WDC project. Through the appointment, Torino underwent the changes a little earlier than Seoul. Torino was once a city of cars, thanks to Fiat, an automobile company that opened in 1899. However, due to the policy of dividing production plants in the 80s, Fiat abandoned the factories and left the city. Torino quickly plunged into an unattractive, ugly location. Then the city government decided to invest $8 billion in renovating the city with a new design. As a result, the city was reborn from being a city of automobiles to a city of design. Torino flaunted its incredible design assets by becoming the pilot city for the WDC project. During the year as the pilot city of WDC, Torino hosted various events and exhibitions for its people to inform them of the importance of design. Certamente noi abbiamo avuto un anno estremamente importante per il design a Torino eh, con molte manifestazioni, eh, mostre, convegni e questo hanno consentito di radicare all'interno della città una cultura del design eh, distribuita sul territorio che non era presente nel, nel passato. Questo è stato credo l'elemento più importante, più interessante eh, per Torino nel momento in cui è diventata uh, Industrial Design World Capital. Batteri, piuttosto che come cresce. Not only did WDC bring economic benefits to Torino, but it also brought a breath of fresh air for all designers working in the city. Un'altra cosa molto interessante che, che è successa grazie a World Design Capital è il fatto che si è creata è stata rafforzata eh, una community dei designer che lavorano sul territorio. Eh, un anno di eventi ha fatto in modo di farci incontrare, tra persone che, fanno, che lavorano in questo ambito del design e del progetto, di farci incontrare più volte e confrontare. Ha fatto in modo che poi come eredità, questa è una cosa da un punto di vista proprio degli studi di designer e delle relazioni tra di loro, eh, 
quello che ci ha lasciato in eredità World Design Capital è stata eh, questa rete molto più forte di collaborazioni tra eh, soggetti. The Pilot City for the WDC reminded the world of the importance and the necessity of design. All eyes were on Seoul as it was selected as the first official world design capital. Seoul worked endlessly to achieve the results of Torino and to maintain the positive impact. Oltre agli appuntamenti classici del design, della product design, del, del, dell'urban design, diciamo, del, dell'arredo della città, di tutte queste materie, tutto questo coincide con questa enorme trasformazione, pianificazione del cambiamento dell'intera area metropolitana. Quindi il Metropolitan Council della, ha fatto un progetto e che durerà negli anni eccezionale. Followed by Seoul, Helsinki of Finland was appointed as the second world design capital. The simple and practical designs of Finland include many practical interior designs that are utilized for everyday use. Helsinki is preparing for the title of WDC while paying close attention to Seoul and its positive changes. First, I can see it, uh, how, how Seoul de developed the citizens' uh, well-being, like uh, new parks, new, new, new beautiful places for the, for the citizens, but also going more into the idea of so development uh, uh, of um, cultural identity of, 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 of um, people in Seoul and, and how it looks like. So I, I can see that you kind of took back your history and culture. You develop. Uh, I, I, I was most uh, impressed to see how, how you worked with the colors. Uh, those uh, those old traditional co colors taken. I understand that uh, culture, colors, history, materials, they are they are very near all people. So it, it's really nice to see that you really find the clue during this year. Designs that breathe with the citizens while changing their lives. Under the slogan, Embedding Design in Life, Helsinki is trying to improve the quality of life and become a close part of its people's daily life. Everyday Design, where everybody plays a part in its creation. That's the dream and goal of every city. Helsinki is watching Seoul and its changes as it approaches closer and closer to the WDC title in 2012. Of course, we have, we have done very, very much benchmarking with Seoul. First of all, when we, we uh, were in the middle of the bidding process, we very much studied what Seoul has done. But also the concept of the year is, is something which we try to learn as much as possible. Uh, the, the concept of combining design and environment, it is an excellent one. Also, the very strong feeling in the, in the organization of the year which Seoul has is something which I would like to have in. There is a lot to learn about and, and uh, it, it has been a great help for us that we have Seoul before us. But of course, when we, we are doing the preparations for the year 2012, we, 
we want to have not only the what copy what only soul has done but the be best practices from Seoul and then something extra from, from Helsinki and Finland. On December 8, 2010, Seoul hosted the Seoul International Conference under the theme Proliferation of Design Values Through the World Design Capital Initiatives and discussed the future direction that the world must take. I represent a non-profit organization. During the conference, more than 350 key figures and designers from Korea and abroad exchanged opinions on using design to solve social problems and to create a pleasant city to live in. Western Australia is Australia's largest state. Uh, Mr. Park uh, to Professionalism and good service and it was evident that the participants all agreed again on the power of design over their cities and citizens in the 21st century. And also to design breathes life into a city. Seoul is one of those cities and it's for that reason Design brings a breath of fresh air to cities. It has become the most crucial tool in improving the quality of urban dwellers' lives. With all cities in the world dreaming of becoming the capital of world design, the next WDC title was handed to Helsinki, Finland. The design-driven development that started in Seoul will once again blossom in Helsinki. Upon analyzing the end results of WDC Seoul 2010, we learned that the title skyrocketed the brand value of Seoul by approximately 892 million US dollars. Also, a survey given to foreigners revealed that there was a 25% increase in the positive reaction to Seoul and a 26% increase in people's intentions to visit the city. It proves that becoming the world design capital boosted the tourism industry of Seoul as well. Seoul's appointment as the WDC 2010 also improved the city's competitiveness in design and the quality of design companies. Through different policies that support the design industry, Seoul is expected to show substantial growth within the next few years. At the center is the iconic landmark of Dongdaemun Design Plaza. Upon its completion in March of 2013, it is expected to generate 13 billion US dollars worth of production value and provide jobs for 110,000 people for the following 20 years. The success of WDC Seoul 2010 continued to yet another feat. On July 20th, 2010, UNESCO appointed Seoul as a UNESCO City of Design, applauding its rich cultural assets and strong policies on design. The dynamic series of events of WDC Seoul 2010 took Seoul to the center of the world's attention. And now, Seoul stands proudly as one of the major design cities of the world. In order to continue as an attractive, global destination with humor, Seoul plans to create designs that are fun. In November 2010, the witty cover-up of the statue of General Lee Sun Shin during its renovation showed a classic example of a fun design. It also manifested the strong impact a single design can have. Seoul is going to expose a completely new side of the city to the rest of the world with its fun design. 아, 디자인하면 서울이라고 생각, 세계인들이 그렇게 생각할 수 있는 나라가 됐으면 좋겠다. 
한국이 디자인 쪽으로 문화가 많이 발전되고 있다는 것을 좀더 알려야 될것 같고요. 디자이너가 그런 일반인들에게 더 가깝게 봉사할 수 있는 내가 디자인한 것들이 해외에서 사람들이 좋아하고 많은 반응을 얻을 수 있구나라는 그런 용기를 얻을 수 있던 무엇보다 외국에서 한국에 대한 디자인 브랜드를 보다 높게 평가할 수 있는 기회라고 생각이 됐습니다. 이제 우리가 정말 세계적인 도시로 거듭나야겠다 하는 그런 이제 마음 다짐을 하는데 큰 역할을 한 그런 계기였다고 생각이 듭니다. 네. 지금부터 어, 국민들의 행복 지수가 높아질 수 있는 하나의 계기가 된 것이에요. 서울 proved its new potential. as a capital of design upon being appointed as WDC 2010. It is transforming into a city where people want to visit, stay, and live in. Design became a solid platform in the new growth and development of Seoul. Design will be the driving force behind the global city of Seoul and its future.